Man, I freaking hate Ryan Gridgen. I hate Ryan Gridgen with such a burning passion. There's this ball of fire that just burns inside of me on a daily basis on just how much I freaking hate this man. I hate Ryan Gritchen more than anybody hates anybody in the world. You can't hate another human being as much as I hate Ryan Gritchen. I hate him that much. Quote, when you pay Andrew what we did, it's going to take time to build on the other side of the ball. End quote. This quote was one of the dumbest things that has ever come out of any human being's mouth in the history of the English language. Nobody has ever said something so freaking stupid before. The only reason you're still employed is because of Andrew Luck. He's the only reason you and Pagano still have jobs with the Colts in the National Football League. It's because of that man right there that you're pointing your finger at. What Andrew Luck has done with what he's had to work with is remarkable. Andrew Luck has taken teams to the playoffs that had no business being in the playoffs. What Andrew Luck has done, putting this team, putting this franchise on his back, Never saying a freaking bad word about his offensive line that can't block. About his defense that can't defend when he goes on game-winning drives with 30 seconds left in his own building. Never said a bad word about Trent Richardson. Never said a bad word about the run game, the offensive line, the defense, Chuck Pagano, Ryan Gritchen. Andrew Luck never says a bad word about anybody. He would never harm a fly. And you're going to come out knowing that Andrew Luck's such a nice human being. Knowing that any other quarterback in the National Football League would turn around and be like, Hey, Ryan Gritchen, F. You! Hey, Jim Mercy, fire this man. He's fired. But no, Andrew Luck is too nice of a guy. Ryan Gritchen knows that Andrew Luck has the ability to snap his fingers and get him fired. But he also knows that Andrew Luck is too nice of a guy to do that. I love what a great teammate Andrew Luck is. I love what a great person he is. But this is the time you got to step up and you got to say, Jim, I need help. Knock on Jim Mercy's door and say, Mr. Ursay, we got to talk, man. This is bad. I have no protection. I have no run game. I have no defense. And now the man that put all this together is going to turn around and point the finger at me? Andrew Luck's in the first year of this contract, Ryan Gritchen. You had four years of Andrew Luck at a bargain to go out and build the defense and build an offensive line. You could not do that. 2012, Andrew Luck made $4 million. 2013, $5 million. 2014, $6 million. 2015, $7 million. You couldn't build a defense in those four years, but now, in 2016, that he's making $18.4 million, you're going to say that it's going to take some time to build a defense? If you couldn't do it at four, five, six, seven million $7 million a year for Andrew Luck, what makes you think you're going to do it at 18, 19.4, 24.4, 27.5, 28.4, and $21 million through 2021? What makes you think you're going to do that? Why should we believe that you're going to now, that Andrew Luck's making four or five times what he used to be making, now, with time, you'll be able to put something on the other side of the football? It's not going to happen. Nobody's going to buy this bullcrap. Even Jim Mercer, at his drunkest state, will not believe you on this one. Your time is done. It's over. Pack your bags. Get the F out of Indianapolis. We hate you. We freaking hate you. You suck at your job. You want to point the finger at Andrew Luck and the money he's making? What about all the money that you spent on the defensive side of the football that didn't pan out? Art Jones, five years, $33 million. LaRon Landry, the human steroid, four years, $22 million. Trent Cole, two years, $14 million. Greg Toller, three years, $14.25 million. Ricky Jean Francois, four years, $22 million. Dequel Jackson, four years, $22 million. That's a lot of money. Nobody panned out. What about you, Ryan Gretchen? What about all the mistakes you made? And he came out and he was like, yeah, I made mistakes, but, you know, I'm a rookie GM. You're not a rookie GM. You're in your fifth year. You were a rookie GM in 2012. That was four years ago. You were half a decade into this job and you still suck and you're getting worse. You're getting worse and worse and worse. I thought he hit rock bottom in 2013. Want to know why? Because in 2013, he went over seven in draft picks. Right now on the active roster in 2016, on the 53-man roster, we have zero players left that Ryan Gritchen drafted in 2013. I thought he hit rock bottom, but after looking at this quote, he's gotten worse. He actually has gotten worse because he's a scumbag of a human being. When you build a majority of your roster, it's not even about money. It's about draft picks. It's about drafting properly. He wants to talk about building on the other side of the football as we are now in year five. Through Ryan Gritchen's five NFL drafts, he only drafted 16 defensive players. 
Only six of those 16 defensive players remain on the active roster. All six are from 2015 and 2016. That means out of this 53-man roster, only six defensive players were actually drafted by Ryan Gritchen. He has zero defensive players left from the 2012, 13, and 14 drafts. Three out of his five drafts have zero defensive players left on the active 53-man roster. But I guess that's all Andrew Luck's fault, right? It's Andrew Luck's fault that we have zero defensive players left from the 2012, 13, and 14 drafts. It's Andrew Luck's fault that we have zero players left altogether from the 2013 draft. It's Andrew Luck's fault that we drafted Bjorn Werner. It's Andrew Luck's fault that we traded for Trent Richardson. It's Andrew Luck's fault that our defense was 26 in the league last year. It's Andrew Luck's fault that he's been the most hit quarterback in the National Football League since 2012. It's Andrew Luck's fault that we haven't had a 100 yard rusher in over 60 games. Everything is Andrew Luck's fault. 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 Let's blame Andrew Luck for everything. I just don't get it, man. Andrew Luck is the only reason these guys have jobs. And they're going to take shots at him because they know what a nice guy he is and that he will never turn around and say a bad word about them. But when you're the most hit quarterback in the National Football League over the last five years since you entered the league, and that includes the nine games you missed, you're still the most hit quarterback in the National Football League. You don't have a run game. You don't have a defense. And now... You are being blamed for the amount of money you make? Andrew Luck is the textbook definition of a player that would give money back to help the better of the team. And now they're pointing the finger at him? I don't care who you are. Everybody has a boiling point. It's like that movie Bernie with Jack Black. When Jack Black plays like the nicest person of all time, everybody in his little town of Texas loves him. He's constantly doing community service. I think he's a pastor at the church. And he helps Miss Nugent with everything she needs. He's like Miss Nugent's personal assistant. And Miss Nugent's the meanest freaking woman of all time. And eventually, Bernie hits his boiling point, goes into the garage, and shoots Miss Nugent. Now, I don't think Andrew Luck's going to kill anybody, but I do think he'll go up to Ursa and say, all right, man, enough is enough. I need some help. I need an offensive line. I need a defense. I need a running game. I need a new head coach and a new general manager. That's coming. Since 1989, only eight teams have won 11-plus games with a bottom five row defense. The Colts have done that two times, 2012 and 2013. In 2012, as a rookie, Andrew Luck was the second most hit quarterback in the National Football League, had no run game, and had the 26th overall defense, and they won 11 games. 2013, Colts had the 20th overall defense. He was the third most hit quarterback in the National Football League, still no running game, and they won 11 games and won a playoff game. What Andrew Luck's done with no run game, no defense, no offensive line is remarkable, and these guys are going to sit around missing on draft picks, Losing trades to the Cleveland Browns. Signing guys that don't even earn a fraction of what they make. Meanwhile, you have this guy, Andrew Luck, who's earned every single penny of what he's made. And you're going to point the finger at him because you know what a nice human being he is? Give me a break. Give me a freaking break. You're going to really point the finger at the man that put this franchise on his back You can't build a defense. You can't build an offensive line. You can't build a running game. And what about the money on the offensive side of the football? We're talking about the defensive side of the football. Art Jones, LeBron Landry, Trent Cole, Greg Toller, Ricky Jean, Francois, Duquel Jackson, all the wasted money he spent over there. Hundreds of millions of dollars on those guys. What about on the offensive side of the ball? What about giving Dwayne Allen a four-year, $29.4 million contract this year? What about that money? Dwayne Allen had 16 catches for 109 yards. And one touchdown last year. You're going to give him all that money? I'd rather have Jack Doyle been the starting tight end and let him walk. Let him walk with Fleener. What about a three-year, $21 million contract to Andre Johnson? You could have Reggie Wayne for the veteran minimum, and you go out and you sign Andre Johnson to a three-year, $21 million contract. You already have T.Y. Hillen. You already have Dante Moncrief. Then you go out and you draft Philip Dorsett instead of going defense. So you had all these opportunities to go defense. You throw money around at offensive players like Dwayne Allen. It really just doesn't make sense to me how this man could be this bad at his job and continue to point the finger at Andrew Luck. I don't know who Ryan Gritchen thinks he's fooling. God only knows how he got a contract extension last year, but I think he thinks that the contract extension means he's in year one, like he's restarting, like he's a rookie GM all over again. No, no, no. This is year five. Year five. You've had five full off seasons of free agency and drafts, and this is the product you put on the field. This is the first year of Andrew Luck's contract. 2012, we had the 26th overall defense. 2013, we had the 20th overall defense. 2014, we had the 11th overall defense, which was great, but then we dropped 14 spots. 2015, we had the 26th overall defense. So when you look at that, in 2012, we were the 26th overall defense, 
And then three years later, in 2015, we were the 26th overall defense. And guess what? We still didn't have to pay Andrew Luck yet. So 2012, 13, and 14, four years, we don't have to pay Andrew Luck. Our defense goes from 26th to 20th to 11th back to 26th. When you look at that, in 2012, 26 overall defense, 2015, 26 overall defense. 2012, 13, 14, 15. That's four years. Four years. And we still had the 26 overall defense in his fourth year. The same ranking he had in his first year, he had in his fourth year. And then on top of all that, in 2015, our leading sack man was Robert Mathis at 34 years of age, coming off 10 Achilles surgeries, playing in 15 games on limited snaps. Our leading sack man was the only non-Ryan Gritchen guy on the defense. Think about that. On the entire defense, on the 53-man roster, the only defensive player left from the Bill Polian era was Robert Mathis. Everybody else on the defensive side of the football was either a Ryan Gritchen draft pick, trade, or free agent acquisition. The only defensive player we had left was Robert Mathis. He only had seven sacks, which isn't a lot. But that just goes to show how bad Ryan Gritchen is. It's not like Robert Mathis had a 19-sack season. Robert Mathis had seven sacks. So Ryan Gritchen, in 2012, 13, 14, and 15, he couldn't find a pass rusher to have a better season than our 34-year-old Robert Mathis, who was coming off 10 Achilles surgeries. That is Ryan Gritchen in a nutshell. That's Ryan Gritchen's inability to build a defense in a nutshell. That you're in your fourth year at the time. You've just completed your fourth offseason. And your leading sack man is a 34-year-old from the previous regime who's coming off 10 Achilles surgeries and goes on to lead the team in sacks with only seven. God forbid you found a guy to have an eight-sack season. But that's too much to ask for from Ryan Gritchen. But I guess it's Andrew Luck's fault that Ryan Gritchen couldn't find a pass rusher to take down the quarterback eight times last year. And I guess it's Andrew Luck's fault that Ryan Gritchen traded for Trent Richardson. It's Andrew Luck's fault that Ryan Gritchen drafted Bjorn Werner. It's Andrew Luck's fault that Ryan Gritchen signed LeRon Landry, Andre Johnson, Art Jones, Greg Toller. It's Andrew Luck's fault that Ryan Gritchen has zero players left from his 2013 draft class on the active 53-man roster. It's Andrew Luck's fault that Ryan Gritchen has zero defensive players left from his 2012, 13, and 14 drafts. I guess it's Andrew Luck's fault for all these things that have gone wrong. Apparently, Andrew Luck's contract interferes with the ability to draft. You're only allowed to draft busts when your quarterback makes as much money as Andrew Luck. So uh, I guess that's what it is. Because when you look around the league at all the guys that are making more than Andrew Luck this year, they all have better rosters around them than Andrew Luck. But hey, I love that excuse by Ryan Gritchen. What a brilliant excuse, right? Let's just blame it on Andrew Luck. Let's blame everything on Andrew Luck. Let's blame my horrible hair loss and Chuck Pagano's receding hairline on Andrew Luck. Let's blame everything on Andrew Luck. Everything is Andrew Luck's fault. When you get into a car accident, when you get a 50 on your math test, blame it on Andrew Luck. Let's blame everything on Andrew Luck and Andrew Luck's contract. It's just unbelievable. We had four years of Andrew Luck at a bargain price, $4 million, $5 million, $6 million, $7 million. Couldn't build a defense or an offensive line. And now that Andrew Luck is finally making some money, let's blame everything over the entire five years on Andrew Luck. Ryan Gritchen is the scum of the earth. I hate that man with a burning passion. I really do. I hate Ryan Gritchen more than any other human being on the face of the planet. Nobody hates another person as much as I hate Ryan Gritchen. He's ruining the career of an elite franchise quarterback. We're watching the years waste away. Fire Gritchen. Fire Pagano. Fire Gargano. Get these guys the hell out of Indianapolis before Luck's 28 years old, 29 years old, 30 years old, 31 years old. We have to do it now. Andrew Luck's still young. He's 27 years old. We've wasted five years of his career. We can't waste the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. We have to jump on top of this thing. Ursay, put down the bottle. Fire Ryan Gritchen. Fire Chuck Pagano. We got to get this thing moving. We have to build a legitimate NFL roster around this guy before it's too late. The hits are piling up. The wear and tear is piling up. We don't want to have a 30-year-old quarterback in a couple years in a 40-year-old quarterback's body. We need to protect this guy. We need to build a defense. So when he goes on game-winning drives with 37 seconds left in our own building, you don't let the Lions go down the field and score against us. Blaming the first year of Andrew Luck's contract on the last five years of your inability to build a defense has got to be one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen in my freaking life. Ursay, do something about it. Do something about it. Fire Gridchin.